So I guess that's a crashed spaceship? Oh, okay. That seems to be our two main characters, originals. You know, um, maybe they were they were the ones in the intro movie. They seem to be some sort of spaceship that got lost. And now they're back on what I assume to be is an Earth since Kamen Rider is also in here. <sighs> my apologies for my dogs again. They're kind of noisy today. Yeah, so I get they got involved with Shocker, the bad guys in Kamen Rider. Okay, turn one looks like we can move now. Yeah, I'm just trying out the save, uh, the save settings if they were gonna work. Okay, looks like they work. So okay. Well, looking at it right now, it actually is. It's so much like Super Robot Titan. Okay, sounds good. Only one attack though. Well, they're in human form, so okay. Yeah, a flying kick, okay. Wow, okay, one damage only? Okay. And I'm guessing that the top menu here is still M turn. Alright, looks like it. Yeah, there's also still percentage uh, chances of hitting. Yeah, of course, if you haven't really played Super Robot Titan. Well, as you can see, the right side is our character, and that's the percentage of our attack hitting the opponents. So since it's 100%, that means it's gonna hit. Now, the enemy, since it's still question mark because we haven't fought it yet, and his chance of his attack hitting our characters is only 42. Yeah, the Kamen Rider bad guys, when they die, they do that. They kind of turn into puddle and disappear. Oh, looks like they actually haven't been finished with the... Uh... So I guess that those the original characters ended up as a distraction in order for uh, our the main hero of Kamen Rider. Sorry, I forgot his name. To be able to escape. Then conveniently, there's his motorcycle. That is, you know, this is actually seems to be the story of Kamen Rider 1, the first episode.
Well, the design of this character is pretty unique. It doesn't look like... Oh, so even the girl, it can actually change. Okay, that's cool. You know, that's what I kind of don't like about um, Kamen Riders or Space Sheriffs. They could not henshin like the main female, like the main hero. But at least in this one, they were able to change as well. So that's cool. At least she has a range 4 attack. So it's our hero. 1, 2, 4, and 1, 5. So yeah, in this kind of game, when you when you press the circle button on a character, you have a list of commands. The top is usually the move command, and the bottom is typically the status uh, command. You know, it makes you look at character stats and uh, other stuff. Okay. Let's move and attack this um, cannon fodder enemies. Oh, okay. They're actually still going after Kamen Rider. Okay, whatever. Yeah, to cancel command, you need to press the uh, 
X button, so okay. Since, uh, for example, in my earlier I made a mistake, so I pressed the X button in order to uh, cancel my command. So point, this was the sword, right? And it and it uses 10 EN. So yeah, let's try out the normal punch attack. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay. That multiple kicks attack. Interesting. Uh, even Kamen Rider's motorcycle, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, the third option, the one with the letter O thing, is actually trying to avoid attack. And when you do that, the chances of the enemy hitting you goes by half, since it's already 1%, using evade makes it zero, but this disables us into attacking, so, okay. Oh, interesting. Looks like our main character has a map attack. Um, hmm. Well, because first there has a label, and then there's also the... Okay, so you four grid map attack. But there's really nothing to hit here, so okay. And 
That enemy shocker base has self-destructed. Well, this is a lot different from the Super Robot Tyson uh, menus. Well, this is basically the intermission screen. And it's typical, it gives you the uh, oh, upgrade. So, okay. Allows us upgrading our heroes. Interesting. Looks like uh, even the Kamen Rider's bike could be uh, upgraded. Okay, so I guess we shouldn't really waste money eh, at the total beginning. Okay, let's continue the next stage. Oh, actually, it's asking us if we want to save, but we already saved, so okay. Who are these guys? Uh, are they from Ultraman? Hmm. Well, he has a blaster, so I guess... okay. Whoa, okay. They're attacking the actual vehicle. TDF.
Ooh, they got turned to bad guys. Unfortunately, I really don't remember where they are from. Oh well. Well, looks like they were able to incapacitate those guys, so, okay, that's cool. Hmm. Level 3 and level 2. Just let just how I wanted it. Yeah, looks like even the morale system is pretty similar to Super Robot Tyson. Uh, the morale system in this game is kind of like this. Um, well, it's kind of different to each character, but there are universal rules. Let's just say if you defeat enemies, all of your group would increase their power. And um, if some of your groups have been...
Oh, looks like uh, those commands is basically henching. Okay. That's good. I think this is a good time to henchin since only the big bad guy remains. So I guess there is a morale requirement in henching, in doing henching probably. Huh. Or perhaps it is wiser, you know, because in a typical tokusatsu series, uh, when your character gets damaged, then that is the time they change. Um, so I guess it could do, it could be a substitute like uh, like refill, because we haven't really inspected it. Whoa, big damage there. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid, so I'm gonna defend. The command that is below the letter, kind of letter O thing, is actually means defend. What happens is that our character would be unable to uh, counter-attack, but uh, if they get hit, the damage would be halved. So since the first attack was like uh, 30 damage, Kamen Rider Run should survive this. Right, okay, cool. So I guess that lowers morale, yeah! Darn. Yeah, time to go, Henshin. Yeah, that reminds me of the Space Sheriff um, changing of um, the particles that they use in order to Henshin. Okay, since we can't use, I'm gonna use this instead. 50 per percent? Wow, that's kind of low. Oh, so they do have the choice to change anytime. Okay, to turn back. That's nice. So I'm hoping there won't be any penalty from switching back and to. Yeah, I hope they don't. Oh well, 50 per percent. Pray, I guess. But the enemy won't be able to counterattack anyway. Ah. Okay, he can summon his bike, but... So what happens when he is on the bike? Huh, okay. Well, since I'm kind of afraid of getting hit, so I think it's fair. Rather than allow Kamen Rider 1 to die, let's see what changes. percent really that low darn so I guess I gotta snipe this guy
Nice. Whoa, still more dice? Okay. Well, I guess Kamen Rider will be uh, <laughs> running over bad guys this time. Whoa, 100, uh oh, that seems to be a bad idea. Whoa, only one damage? Wow. Crud, that's a bad idea. Whoa, five damage? Okay. Yeah, let's see if this is gonna kill the guy. Yeah, sorry Kamen Rider, that should be your kill, but I was just testing that move.
Well, okay, since we have um, been running for more than 40 minutes, I think uh, we are actually reaching about 50 minutes now. So, yeah, we're going to be continuing this playthrough next time. So, this is Rider VM, and I hope you are enjoying this um, blind playthrough of Super Tokusatsu Titan. 2001. If you have enjoyed this video, you're welcome to press that like button and perhaps even subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope that I will still see you guys in another video.